Hey everybody, Joe Venorni, Cherry the Geek TV. We are here at San Diego Comic Con 2023 talking Looney Tunes. And we're here with one of the legends, Jeff Bergman, who's voiced uh, some of your favorite characters uh, Bugs Bunny. Me, what's up, Doc? Sylvester. Suffering fuck attack. Yosemite Sam. I'll get that rabbit. Fred Flintstone. Yabba dabba doo. And now he's part of an exciting new uh, documentary project called Looney Legends in Conversation, uh, where he sits with the son of uh, legendary voice artist Mel uh, Blank. It's uh, Noel Blank. And they talk all things uh, cartoons and, uh, and uh, animation. And we're going to talk about this project. Uh, Jeff, uh, welcome. Uh, talk to me about this Looney Legends in Conversation. I guess we should start by uh, talking about Noel Blank. How did you guys become friends, and what's that relationship? Well, I first met Noel. It was at the Tiny Toons audition callbacks. So we're talking about 33 years ago. And there he was in the lobby. And we were all reading. And he came up to me and he said, Jeff, you sound so much like my dad. He said, do you, do you have an agent? Do you have representation? And I said, I, I do. He said, well, look, if you need anything, here is my business card. And he gave me a business card that had on it vice president, or I think it said president, Noel Blank, Blank Communications. So I, I was just gobsmacked, like, wow. And three weeks prior to that, his father, Mel Blank, passed away eerily on my birthday. And then here we are, three weeks later, auditioning for Tiny Toons. So how did this uh, project, Looney Legends and Conversation, come about? Kind of, kind of explain what, what that is. Well, that did not come about and happen until 33 years later. I did call Noel, but it was for <laughs> over 30 years. And it was all because I saw a Mel Blank auction happening in Beverly Hills and I never go to those things but I thought well it's Mel Blanc so maybe I'll check it out so I went there I bought something and I'm gonna share it with everybody today what I got and it's so special and I bid on it and I got it but it, it just got me thinking maybe Noel is still around maybe he's still alive I find out he's 85 and he's living he lives five minutes from me all these years I'm, I'm in California I didn't know that and so we finally started to meet and just develop a friendship and then he invited my wife and I to come out to Big Bear which was a cabin that was built in the 40s when World War II was still happening. <laughs> and so coming out to this cabin, this is where Mel and all the celebrities used to, to escape the glamour of Hollywood. And so after I left there, I said, this is it. We are going to do a project together. And so this started to just generate ideas in me that maybe there's something here. And a friend of mine, I spoke to him about it, who's here today, who helped create Looney Legends and Conversation. So it's a, it's a real sit down of us talking about the parallels in our life and reminiscing and clowning around and doing the voices together. And it just uh, it just all started like, you know, kind of happened like just suddenly. So when people watch uh, Looney Legends and Conversation, what are some of the fun things they can expect to uh, see in here? Well, we, we definitely are taking people to the cabin that was built 70, almost 80 years ago. And so, and it's like, I don't want to say like there's ghosts there, but you feel the presence of people like Kirk Douglas and Lucille Ball and George Burns and Jack Benny who would come up there all the time. And so that's where we filmed all of this. And so I was honored to, to, to be there. And it's like almost like a museum to Mel Blanc. They've never changed the furniture. Elvis Presley was there. I mean, it's, it's so cool. And so we just have a great time talking, you know, all things Looney, what, 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 we, what we know about. Well, it's called Looney Legends and Conversation. Keep an eye out for that. Uh, Jeff, thanks so much for chatting with us here today on Cherry the Geek TV. Stay tuned for more coverage here at San Diego Comic-Con 2023. <laughs> That's not all, folks. <laughs> Thank Chris. you. You're getting to be a big boy now, son. And there comes a time we must discuss some of the mysteries of life. So you would do myth. You put your tongue out. Mysteries. Oh, it's the lips. Myth. The myth. The myth, the mysteries of life. <laughs> wow, that is complicated yeah. to do. Well, it's true, Doc. I'm the voice of the rabbit, all right. I'm a tune, Doc. I can survive anything. Have you seen a wabbit one by here? Listen up, boss. Hey, boo-boo, we hit the jackpot. Stop the music. 
suffering succotash. Certainly I can sound like Daffy Duck. Noel Blank is carrying on a legacy begun by his famous father over 50 years ago. He talks almost the same as me. That's right, Doc. You know something? I'm going to sue this guy. Your father was an enormous part of the golden age of radio and animation. Me. What's up, Doc? Well, most of us grew up with the voices of my first guest, of Bugs Bunny, Porky Pig, Sylvester, Tweety Pie, Daffy Duck. Say hello to Mel Blake. Starting in 1941, that was shown in every movie theater between every film. Get your savings out when you hear him shout, Any Bonds today! Any Bonds today! I love it! When you see a, a cartoon figure in every theater, how could he not become popular? What was it like when the kids would come to your house for Halloween? Halloween was crazy. When I say 2,000 kids, I'm telling you that's the truth. There would just be hundreds of them at a time. He had an automobile accident. He was in a body cast up to here with his legs straight out like this. And we were doing the Flintstones out of the bedroom. We did 65 Flintstone shows. 65 episodes. I met your dad just one time. I was in my junior year and I had overheard that he was staying at a hotel that was on the campus. I don't know how I got the nerve to do it. <laughs> and I knocked on the door and in about three seconds, I heard this voice, uh, just a jiffy. And I thought, okay, I definitely have the right door because <laughs> that voice is unmistakable. Is it true that you lived on the same street or adjacent to Gene Kelly? Yeah. Was he ever outside singing in the rain? <laughs> Robin Williams, well, we found him at the comedy club and saw him do a little kind of a Martian voice. I told him, you're gonna do a commercial with my dad, Mel. The day that he was supposed to be up at 10 o'clock, his Volkswagen bus broke down <laughs> in, in San Diego. If you would ask for Lou Ferrigno, who beat him in arm wrestling, he would say me, but I really didn't. I just held him off. The call comes in and uh, he says, this is uh, Elvis Presley. I says, oh. Yeah, hi, Elvis. Rolling down the lake at about 45 miles an hour, all of a sudden, a faster boat comes up real quickly to the side of us. And we look over, it's Roy Rogers. And Elvis looks at Roy, and Roy looks at Elvis. The number one cowboy in the world at that time, the number one singer in the world at that time, and the number one voice in the world at that time, all met on Big Bear Lake and we're telling Hollywood stories until we drifted back here. <laughs> uh, I love uh, fruity and cocoa pebbles. Uh, they're unbelievable, Fred. <laughs> That's enough. It scares the hell out of me. Sound so much like Mel. It's just, I, <sighs> nobody was as good as Jeff that I've ever heard. And if Mel were alive right now, he would say the same thing. Hi, kids. George Jetson here with a glimpse of your future. Jetson, uh, I want to see you in my office right away. Uh, what's up, Doug? It was back in 1989 that Steven Spielberg, Warner Brothers, and Amblin Entertainment hired me, Jeff Boykman, to be the voice of Bugs Bunny and several other Looney Tunes characters for a little show titled Steven Spielberg's Tiny Toon Adventures. We're tiny, we're toony, we're all a little. I met him when we were auditioning for Tiny, Tiny Toons because Jeff came out and talked to me in Mel's voice and I knew I was in trouble. I'm watching Bugs Bunny show on television. I could have sworn it was Mel and then I looked and saw it and it said 91. Well, he passed away in 89. So I called you up yeah. said, I just saw something. Didn't make any sense. So he said, yeah, that was me. And now our song is done. There was a toy and there was a pull string would have different phrases. Me, what's up, Doc? Yeah. So I thought, gee, I wonder if I'd slow it down. So I would pull it and we go, me, what's up, Doc? And it would kind of sound like your dad, like my father thought that I should be committed. <laughs> Noel, uh, do me a favor, would you? Make sure you keep an eye on this Jeff Bergman character so he doesn't screw up the voices. I am Friar Duck. Yes. I am right. Oh, I see. I, I felt it. The yeah. vibration. Yeah. The characters, they didn't age. As seen up here in Big Bear, when the boats come over here, they expect me to do the characters, which I did for a number of years. So, Porky Pig would say, have a good day, have a good day. You got a great ride on that great big Bermuda, uh, Bermuda bus, on that pirate ship back to Hollywood, Week, to Hollywood, Week, to Hollywood, 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 any actor that tries to imitate any of the characters, Bugs, Daffy, Porky, Sylvester, we all have to try to measure up to that classic golden period. We all are referencing all those cartoons that he made. Yes. 